You go to school to learn how to let go of all the control in a way. You know, you learn them, you practice them, you you know, you shoot on manual a lot. But when you're trying to capture like a trip or something, or you're trying to capture someone's personality, or you're just trying to not be seen, it's better just to let the camera do the work and you just capture the moment. It's that moment, or you had the camera in your hand, or you didn't. You know, like it's usually there's usually not enough time to pull the camera out and take the photo. It's about seeing people before they see you in a way. It's just more of an honest moment in a way. How the person comes out in the photograph is also, I guess, a reflection of how they interact with me. You know how you photograph someone, but in a way you, you're actually kind of... I don't know how to explain this. It's, I guess it's about seeing yourself in other people, you know, and having that proximity and that conversation. That's, that's really interesting. It's, you know, the photograph is just like a product of the conversation, in a way. So that's, that's what I you know, find, it, find really interesting about it. the creative part coming up with the project you know finding something worthy of spending time photographing you know that's something that you can do over time and that you don't get bored with so that's why I have like so many different cameras you know I feel like there's a Polaroid project that's photographing people you know it's more of like a conversation than it is a, a picture a lot of the times and then there's the travel photography where you know, it's more recognition where you go around walking around and you, know, you have a camera and you see something and you capture it. You can't go back. You have to just deal with what you, what you capture. That's the good thing about it, you know. That's the good thing about travels. And then there's like the landscape stuff where it's about standing somewhere for an hour in the dark, waiting for a picture that you can't even see with your eyes, that you, you think you have framed and everything. You know, it's just, it's about mixing it up and keeping it creative and keeping it fun a lot of the times. As long as I can find film for the camera, I can keep shooting it. Because everywhere you go, everywhere you go, there's new people, there's interesting people, there's artists, there's, you know, beautiful women, there's, you know, characters. Capture, like, the face of the time we live in also, you know, like the way people dress or you know, what kind of haircut or how they style themselves. And uh, you, you look at today, there's just so much variety of style and everything, it's, it's really cool. It's just fun to see the contrast. But at the same time, you're capturing it with film and something that's not very, you know, I'm not gonna say dying, but it's just something more precious and rare these days. When I was in Brazil, I did like some summer courses in photography and then most of the stuff I just learned alone. Mostly because I was in a band and I had access to like some really good venues in Rio. And I knew a bunch of other bands and I just had access to their shows. And I can go on the stage, I can spend the whole show on, like, on stage just photographing them and walking around. And then I had the opportunity to come to school here for photography. So I didn't even think twice. And in like a month I, had, I quit the band, sold everything I had, and then I was just here. I planned on going back when I first moved here. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I just kind of fell in love with the city. The city has you know, just so much art, so much culture, so much music. It's in a way the whole world is here, and you know there has there's beaches for surfing. There's there's music to see at night. There's really cool people everywhere. There's really good friends that I've made. You know, it feels like home right now. And as long as I'm not you know I'm, as long as I can afford to live here, I think I'll uh, I'll try to stick around a little bit longer.